Let's grab that. Uh, no, we're not we're not growing that potion. Although I'm not sure if we're actually ever coming back here. Ooh, lava in the middle of the forest. That's yeah. That is uh, very uh, child friendly for all the students here. The lava stream, and also very friendly for the forest, of course. These guys are so cute. Right, I had to put them on there so I'm able to lift myself up over there. Hey buddy, come on wake up. Follow me. Sweet. And deeper we go. Let's get those beans. On here again. Nothing in the corner. And we have another drain here. But first, we want that guy to eat the stuff here. Come on. Oh, I'm not getting any beans from you? Oh, he's getting fatter though. Oh, I see. Oh. Is that bonus then over here? I should. I hope he still fits in there. It's not really what I wanted though. Um, although maybe you're staying inside of there and I'm getting that guy. To follow me over here. That is a small drain, yeah. Ah, okay, I need both. I need both of them. So which one is the bonus one, though? Use lever. Lava, lever. I think I pretty say lever. Okay, that is sorted. And then we're taking the beans. Nice. And out we go. I love how there's just casually a lava stream in the middle of Hogwarts Castle. They don't have water, they have lava. Surrounding the... The castle. And of course, you know, right next to all those trees. It's not dangerous at all or anything. I never realized that as a kid, how ridiculous that actually is. Alright, okay, I I know where the fire seats are now. Let's go. Ooh, they also fall down. Ooh. 
Yeah, the, these... Um, this, this teaches kids very early that they shouldn't try to fall into lava streams. teaches them that it might burn a bit when you fall into a lava stream but technically you're all right you know you, you just eat a frog afterwards and everything is fine yeah. uh, you know what well, we're not coming back here so we can drink that for the longest of time I by the way didn't know that there was um, a Harry Potter Philosopher's Stone game for the... That was a long jump. For the GameCube. And it's extremely rare. And I happen to actually own it. Oh. God damn it. That was not good. Oh, I'm, I'm set back twice. Hello? I hate triangle. Yeah, these are a bit cruel. Is that not timed at all? There we go. Oh, dear God. Let's get those seeds, bring them back to Hagrid. You have retrieved the fire seeds. I have to go back now, all the way through the lava. Amazing. But okay. Okay. Do you really have to go go back all the way? Don't even remember that. But by the looks of it, I do. By the looks of it, I do. Okay. Through the cave. Over the lava stream that runs right through the forest. And through here. This is where we fought the flying boar. Loading times actually weren't that bad in that game. Hey, Hagrid. Well done, Harry. You found the fire seeds. 
Yes. Now I can show you what I need him for. But it's our secret, mind you. Oh yeah, he Come has the dragon, inside, right? Mate. Norbert. Your feet now? Of course, Norbert the dragon. Welcome to my home, Harry. It's small, but still roomier than your cupboard under the stairs, eh? I got this from a man that in was the rude. Homestead pub. It's a dragon egg. I need some fire seeds to give it that last burst of heat to force it to hatch. Go ahead and put them in the fire, Harry. You've done it, Harry. It's hatching. Yeah, I'm your mama. Up you come, my beauty. I love how he casually has hey, a hey, portrait hey, of Dumbledore. I'll call him Norbert. He's a Norwegian bat, you know. Harry, you're a true friend. I want you to have this book, Quidditch Through the Ages. Hmm. We'd better give Norbert his first feed soon. I'll see you later, Harry. Thanks Yeah, again. he might get hungry. And eat all those spiders you're also secretly keeping. Oh. Now the pathway to the secret forest is open. Well, that's actually... Is it the secret? Uh, the forbidden forest, I mean? Um... Don't even know. Well, let's have a look. Well, there's at least more forest stuff and another mini game, I suppose. No. Secret area. Some beans. Another bean here. Some more beans here. Well, that reminds me, maybe I could flip handle that card down that we saw earlier. We need to try that out. We're gonna flip handle that card down. Who's that? That's Ron. Uh, Ron, I will be right with you. Just need to check something out. I hope I can find it again. So, we need to go here, right? And then it was left. Was it that one? No, that is done. Where was it again? Um... Wait, I think... Ah, oh, here it is. Here it is. Yeah, let me see if I can flip handle the card down. That could work. Yes! Nice. Sweet. Hengist of Woodcroft. We're not viewing it now. We're gonna have a look later when we have a couple of more cards together. Nice. Alright. Um. God, everything here looks so... Similar. So, Hagrid's heart is here. We go behind it. Over here, and talk to Ron. Follow me, Harry. You'll never guess what I found. Ah, uh, what did you find? The unicorn? Is it, is it already time for the unicorn, or is that too early? I mean... Time-wise, it would be too early, chronologically. Hello, Harry. 
Try to grab all the bouncing bulbs again, all right. Shit. I can do it, I can do it, I can do it. Well done, Harry. You collected all the birds. And we get It's a wonderful dark. Morgan the Fay. Morgan the Fay. We're also gonna have a look at that later. But now we're off to see what Mr. Weasley found. Uh, where did he go? Into that part here, the Quidditch pitch. Is it time for a Quidditch game? Did you find the Quidditch field? This is the entrance to the Quidditch pitch. But first years oh. like us aren't allowed to play. I hear they make exceptions sometimes though. But only if you are very, very good. Here comes Neville. He looks quite upset. Best go and see what he wants. Malfoy stole my remember all. <laughs> he ran off onto the school grounds with it. I need the remember all to find my toad. And Please that is how me. I joined the Quidditch Come on. team. I'll show you where he went. Okay, Neville, I will help you. Sure thing. Evil Malfoy. So Longbottom has gone sniveling to you, and you want me to give you his precious remember all. I think I'll leave it somewhere for Longbottom to collect. How about up a tree? Think you can catch me? Come on then, Potter! And you better watch out for my bludgers. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Oh no. Oh dear. I fly above that? No, of course not. <laughs> I will get there. We have it. Almost. Just need to hit him one more time. Oh! Okay, we're looping, okay. We're looping. Come on, Harry. Oh, man.
There we go. My broomstick, Potter. Well, that's your fault, not mine. Here, take this stupid thing. I've no use for it. Oh well. You've got my remember all back. Thanks, Harry. I'll be able to find my toad now. Hopefully. Although I'm not convinced you might. I remember now. I left Trevor near the herbology class. There are plants there that eat toads. You better hurry up then. Mr. Potter, I'm Professor McGonagall, Deputy Headmistress of Hogwarts and Head of Gryffindor House. Although I do not approve of your chasing Malfoy about, I'll admit you have remarkable talent on a broomstick. Ordinarily, first-year students may not compete in Quidditch. In your case, we might overlook that rule. Hurry along to the Quidditch pitch. Your first match against Hufflepuff is about to start. Wow! You're going to play Quidditch and that was fast too. I just wanted to wish you good luck, Harry. That was fast. Everyone's talking about you becoming a seeker, Harry. Why, you're the youngest seeker at Hogwarts in a century. As soon as I heard, I rushed down from my hut to give you a big congratulations. I know you'll catch the snitch first. I just know it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Quidditch game. Immediately. Good. Um, against Hufflepuff versus Hufflepuff. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to I think that's doable. I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the cockle and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Gryffindor's new team seeker is Harry Potter. It's his job to find and catch the golden snitch. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Yay! Let's go, let's start the game. I'm confident I'm able to win that. A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! The crowd is on its feet! Come on, Harry Potter! You saw too. Look at Potter go. Ouch. Ow. That's not Potter good. Potter is losing control. Potter gaining. Potter is a speeding bludger. Where's the where is it? Oh there it is. Oh, what? Has the Whew. 
I got it. Nice. I got it. Well done, Harry. Yeah. Well done, me. Yay! We won the first game. Nice, nice, nice. Well now, if it isn't the notorious Mr. Potter. Remember my name, it's Professor Snape. And I know all about you, boy. Snape actually doesn't look too book bad. In your grimy little hand. Library books, by definition, are not to be taken from the library. I'll just confiscate that, thank you. But that was a gift. As soon as my missing sloth brain is recovered, we'll start the first potions lesson. All right, bye, Professor Snape. Um. Hey, it's a piece of a map. Hold on, this is Fred and George's handiwork. The map shows there is a forgotten area around here. I wonder if it could be behind that old rusty door. The map says there is a magic word to open the door. Well, here goes. Alahamora. Wow, look. I've opened that rusty door. Come on. Let's see where it leads. Sure. That's explore... Um, sealed of areas. Uh, why not, right? Why not? Guys, we did win our first Quidditch match and had our first meeting with Professor Snape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And up next, potion class is close, I believe. I'm still waiting for Peeves. I can't wait to finally meet him. <laughs> 